so thank you first of all thank you for accepting us uh our uh, little chat um yeah. i wanted to say that i was living in malta two years and a half yeah really i i, I moved back to spain recently yes <laughs> um okay. i miss malta yes <laughs> um uh, i'm an i'm an uh, see the guy <laughs> MC, Mela, so like me so yeah, really nice yes, yes. <laughs> i'm actually from i'm from gozo nice but my apartment in malta is actually mm. there so. great mm -hmm. my favorite place in malta is gozo but i was oh, uh, yeah i lived yeah. uh near uh, the parish church so. yeah. nice <laughs> nice so uh first question that we have um is the like if we start a bit like uh for the from the national selection what made you participate in the national selection of malta uh this year so i mean eurovision was always uh like representing Malta. in eurovision was always a big dream and it was this was actually not the first time that i tried the the malta eurovision and uh, however it felt like this time round was the right time to compete and i had a clear vision as well as to what i wanted to do what uh, kind of song i wanted to to compete with and uh, when loop was born um, and i decided to submit it you know i said i think this is the one that's what i did and <laughs> that's yeah. great that's great when you listen to to a song and you 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 think that it's the perfect one to to send somewhere like to a national selection or or even to to take it as a single or whatever i think this is like the, the best sign you know it's great and um how was the the process of of composing the the song are you part of the composers or yes yes i was very much part very much involved the the song was born basically in a in a room during a songwriting session so I was obviously present the whole time and I was also a, a writer right. um, on the on the song so but like I would start I had this vision in mind and I knew what I wanted to do um in terms of what I wanted to achieve and then I started writing and trying different things it was a very casual songwriting session without expectations really and truly yeah. That's um, right. yes and then loop came about and uh, yeah, then we uh, it was in London, then I continued working on it in Malta a bit more with a local producer, Mickey Mago. Um, and then the deadlines came. I decided to submit it just 15 minutes before the close of deadline. I was saying like, should I do it? Should I not? <laughs> I really wanted to do Eurovision in the best possible way. So I wanted to make sure that this is the right song. So yeah, I was unsure whether I want to do it or not. Um, but yes, I decided to submit it and the rest is history. <laughs> <laughs> That's very nice. And uh, now you re just released uh, the revamp, which in my opinion is great, actually. Um, and uh, how do you feel with this uh, new version, the, the revamp? Is, is the, the final version, the one that you're going to uh, perform there in, in Malmö? Um, yes, I mean, I'm very happy with the revamp as well. When we won the national final, you know, we thought, let's see how we can make sure that we deliver the best possible product in, in Malmo. And that is how the, the revamp came about, basically. Um, we worked with Linnea and Joy Deb in Sweden, who are um, very well known in the Eurovision yes, world. Yes, yes. Um, and yeah, and we try to, you know, find ways how to make it better. So, uh, so that is how it came about, and I'm very happy. I must say, with the revamp, I'm very glad that we did it. Right. Um, well, we we want to congratulate you because uh, you just received uh, like an award from from Robert Abella, the the president of Malta, um, isn't yes. it? Like the talent in Malta, something like that. It's like an acknowledgement for my mm. for my victory <laughs> that's very good that's very good so congratulations as well and um the next question will be like how are you living this period of preparation how is the how is the whole process of of uh creating the staging uh working with the Maltese uh broadcaster and also the the Swedish broadcaster is it is it are you involved there as well or there is a 
I don't know, the head of, of delegation who is in charge and you are like a bit like expecting. Tell us a bit that. <laughs> I try. I mean, I'm very much involved. Malt is a small country as well and a small team. So to a certain extent, I have to, I have to be involved. I try. Not Full to of talent. Involved. I was impressed yeah. when I was living there. Really, really. Yes. Yeah. I mean, I'm... I, I, I try not to get too involved because I need to focus on my performance, but I am involved. Um, so far, so good. I mean, things are looking great. I'm, I'm enjoying the process. It's very tiring um, and stressful, cannot lie. Um, and obviously, apart from the staging and all of those things, I need to focus on my performance and, you know, making sure that uh, I end up delivering the best possible performance. But, uh, you know, this is my dream, so I just want to... Be grateful for it and just enjoy That's it. Right. Um, quick question because you just uh, came to Madrid. Actually, um, yeah. I couldn't go to the free buy in Spain because I was on holiday. <laughs> but uh, how was your first contact with the Eurofan world here in Madrid? Incredible! I didn't expect that. Like um, the fans were so nice and they were like so crazy and happy to see all the contestants it's it's insane i mean i felt really really grateful for for the fans i think that eurovision fans are very very loyal a bit intense they, sometimes right they are they are <laughs> in a very good way i must say because yeah. they were very very happy to see us all and take pictures it, it truly warms my heart so it's it's just it was incredible honestly and also, it was the first time that you met your 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 colleagues there, right? Exactly, exactly. It was That's the first cool. time. Yes, do you, yes, yes. Do you have a uh, your personal favorite? I now have my buddy Don's. <laughs> I was <laughs> uh, most yes. of the time. He's really we've really seen nice. the you've seen the picture and the videos. Ah, yes. yes. He has yes. a strong voice. Yes, yes. Very yes, good. Yes, and a very nice, sweet personality as well. And um, coming back to like the whole process of preparing everything, blah, blah, blah. Do you have actually time to do anything else apart from interviews or do you have life? I don't have life, I must say. No. <laughs> yes. I mean, no, I don't. I just full time on this crazy Eurovision thing. And yeah, the fact that I live from Gozo as well is a bit harder. I need to commute all the time to Malta. Mm. My dancers are from London, so I, we're, I rehearse in London as well. So I have to commute. And we still have the tours, interviews, appearances, uh, you know, maybe sleep. Maybe, yeah, maybe but it's not, it's not something mandatory. Yeah, <laughs> it's a priority. But yes. Yes. Um, talking about the dancers, uh, one of your dancers, uh, it's a bit famous already in Spain because people <laughs> fall in love, right? <laughs> really? <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, um, are you gonna uh, bring them to to your vision, or you you don't you don't have a fixed team for now? Yes, yes, I do have a fixed team. I have four dancers with me, um, um, and for the tours, we'll be alternating between the four dancers. So that's great. Get a taste. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone <laughs> and the final where they see them all <laughs> <laughs> that's great that's great um if you have to define your staging with three words what would you say hmm. i think uh, fun energetic and uh, Fun, energetic and lively, I guess. Nice. <laughs> nice. Um, as you said, Malta is a small country, but also is very well known for Eurovision as well. Like my mom, yeah. for example, uh, I moved there and she she thought that I was living in Italy. I was like, no, mom, Malta is a country. And, and she said, like, oh, yes, yes, they participate in Eurovision. It's like, yes, yes, yes. And they are a beautiful country. So come and visit me here. <laughs> <laughs> um, um do you have any any contact with other other representatives from other years yes i i mean i'm friends with most of them really i work a lot with glenn and amber uh christabel is a really really dear yeah, nice. of mine and the busker obviously destiny michaela she's also from gozo right. Miriam Christine, who was my first singing teacher so great yeah. 
I mean, I'm 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 friends with almost all of them. <laughs> I'm afraid you're a dancer, but are you a dancer, a singer, both of them? What do you prefer, singing, dancing, both at the same time? It's, have, it's very I, different. Cool. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm. I started first dancing, not singing. I started dancing at the age of four. Um, but then I actually had stopped a few years back. So um, before I started doing this Eurovision journey, I I had like stopped dancing for around six years. I hadn't been dancing for six years. Oh six my gosh. Years. So yes, <laughs> but um, I mean, they say like once a dancer, always a dancer. Yes. <laughs> It was always like still very close to my heart. And it was always my dream to combine singing and dancing, especially like for Malta, we never had that. So it was always my dream to do Eurovision uh, with a song where I can sing and dance. So it's hard for me to choose. I mean, I'm I've always like I always say I'm first a singer. That is my like my art, that is my profession, so to speak. Um but I love dancing and I and I love combining it to singing. I think you need to offer the whole package. And also, it's a, it's a, it's a difficult thing, like doing both at the same time in a good way as you do. It's very difficult. So I have to like tell you like congratulations. Um, also, <clears throat> are you happy to open the semi final? I am very happy. I mean, um, we knew that we were going to perform in the first half. So for me, <laughs> um, the sort of ideal spot would would be the opening number which we got so that's actually that's actually insane i feel very glad very grateful for the for the responsibility that was that was given to me sort of um it is nerve-wracking not gonna lie because you know opening such a big show but at the end of the day yeah i mean it's 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 an honor i must say in a in a in a show like this and this year, uh, Televote uh, is going to be open since the very beginning. Um, I think that's a good thing to to try not to make people forget first um, yeah. first uh, entries. But the first one is going to be the one that impacts the most, I think. So I'm very, <laughs> I'm very happy because, I mean, like... Malta is kind of my second country, so I'm I'm like okay, yeah. Uh, oh. I think uh, I, we have a chance to go to the final. You should vote um, for us then. Yes, yes, yes. I will. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> keep, keep the performance, see if you like it, and then. <laughs> and um, another question: um, If you have to pick someone from Malta for the next year, who will you say? Hmm, probably I'm a bit biased because I'm really I like good friends with Ryan Healy, like really good friends with Ryan Healy. So I'd probably say Ryan Healy or Matt because I'm, I mean, and I, to be honest, I'm really good friends with them, but at the same time, I think they deserve it. So I mean, Ryan is a, a great, a great right. singer. Like, he won, he won yeah. the X Factor, right? Did he did win the X Factor right, and nice. second place and third place in Eurovision nice. uh, this year and the year before? So yeah, Let's and see. Matt as well. Well, Matt as well is doing. He's he's a he's different. He's very camp, very Eurovision. So would be very f happy for him to win as well. So I think yeah, Matt or Ryan, I guess. And um, last question. I'm not gonna take more time because I I I know that you're very busy. Um, uh, like. Recent years, we we've seen that countries they are sending more and more uh, songs in their own language. Um, what do you think about sending maybe Maltese? I I love Maltese music, multi, music and Maltese. It's true yeah. that the Maltese language is very difficult for me. It is. It is. It is difficult. Mela, I, Mela, and Mela, uh... Mela, Mela. <laughs> yeah, I think that would be a great idea. Actually. Um, we are a very small country and we're very lucky to have our own language. So I think we should, you know, it's a, it's a very good way. Eurovision could be a very good way of how we can, you know, um, sort of spread the language to the whole wide world, like for all people to see and appreciate. So I think that would be a, that would be amazing. I think we should do it. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Aiden was very close to doing oh, it. Oh, yes, yes. Maybe we should try again because, yeah, Aiden could be a great candidate as well. 
yes, guess. yes. We are very fan of, of him here as well. Yeah, so many fans. And I, <laughs> and I, um, rightly so. And it's, it's great that he uses the Maltese language. That's yeah. good. So yeah, Sarah, that, that, that's all. I'm not going to uh, take more time. Um, so thank you very much for your time. Very, like, we wish you the best of luck. Uh, you have a, like, a good chance to, to make it to the final. And, and I hope you enjoy, which is the most important thing. Yes. Um, yes. Yeah. Thank you. Grazie, Hafno. Thank you. Grazie, Lila Kukol. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Bye. Good luck. Bye. 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 Bye.